hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here hi welcome if you're a returning subscriber welcome back um, make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel and like this video and make sure you comment down below um, if you want to see more of these videos or if you want a different type of video just let me know what's in your mind and all of that so um, in today's video I'll be answering some questions that you guys asked on my Instagram I basically just mixed it all up um, I'm going to be answering some questions and also giving you guys some advice because um, so some of you asked me for some advice so I'll be giving you advice based on what I know and maybe my experience or I don't know and um, some of you also asked like basically did an assumption about me so I will be clarifying and be like yeah it's true or no it's not true and stuff like that so yeah that's what today's video is all about and I'll also be getting my husband to answer some of the questions as well because why not i mean why not so yeah i hope this space is enough because i don't know i just hope it's, it's enough if it's not enough we'll figure something out but i just hope it's enough so i'm gonna get my husband now well, do, you, do, do you guys miss us i miss <laughs> us on 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 youtube like i miss us being on youtube together it's good to be back i always love filming with him because i don't know there's just a lot of pressure off my shoulder to like answer everything myself you know <laughs> so yeah we're gonna do it together and we're gonna get right into the video so 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 why are you looking at me curious what are you curious about <laughs> I can't wait to see what you have. You haven't seen any of the questions, right? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen all of them. I even saved the ones so I'll answer because some are kind of repetitive, so hmm. I just got a few to answer. Hope I get the easy one so. Oh okay, the first one is actually is it okay as a guy to get married at twenty five or too, or too young? So this is basically your question. What do you think for a guy to be to get married at twenty five? of course it's quite fine i'm in my opinion at least okay so long as you know you can support your family so long as you have something to do and you're focused you have your career set or you have your career path already set then you're good to go yeah it's actually better to start at an, at an early age yeah i think that's my opinion i think 25 is a good age to get married 25 26. what age did you get married at 26 i think no 27 29 you got married at 29? 28, 29, yeah. Seriously, where was I? <laughs> <laughs> you got married at 28, it was 28. Yeah, 28. Yeah. Was it 28? It was 28, wow. I thought it was 26. Okay, I met you when you were 26. Oh, that's, that's why I'm very confused. <laughs> Next. Um, I'm pregnant, just 10 weeks, but now, but I'm thinking like it's twins. Please, can you tell me? the signs of twins um i don't think there are any signs like that you would feel in your body you just have to get an ultrasound you definitely just have to get an ultrasound to know if you're having twins so that's the only way i i think i'm not a doctor or anything but that's the only way you can know but honestly i felt it i don't i don't know there's just something about honestly i felt it what i, I felt it <laughs> i felt it like i felt it there's just something about never mind there's just no way you can know you just have to have an ultra ultrasound exactly you just have to get the ultrasound get the images and get the doctor to tell you oh there are two heads or <laughs> things like that you know because that's how we, that, <laughs> what <laughs> that's how we I found out heads or tails. That, nah. that's just what came to my mind nah. okay another assumption is that we don't like people so really? I, I don't know that's just a wrong assumption because I love people we love to have our friends come over to our place or have a double dates with our friends so yeah we love people of course I mean if you have the right company then you're in great company you're enjoying yourself yeah. you're constantly happy that's honest. just it so we just, right we, just we just don't like drama to be honest we just don't like drama we don't like but like having good company great company it's good we love people i mean why are we why are we here talking to you guys exactly you know? <laughs> so <laughs> someone said uh -huh. um 
you get intrigued by some people's audacity all the time true <laughs> so yeah i think that's true like i'm like who how how who gave the, the uh, i mean sometimes the messages we see in the dms are like wow how <laughs> dare you like yeah it's really shocking honestly yeah so. honestly it's true i do get intrigued by some of the kind of some of the things that people do sometimes it's to be expected though like yeah well <laughs> you'll be surprised the kind of people that are out there so um you are like a sister to your husband that's why um that's why in good and bad you stick together understanding is the key hmm. i wouldn't say that i'm like a sister, sister. to him <laughs> ew. <laughs> ew. no no like a best friend because we're actually best friends so yes yeah that's that's the better that's the better way to put it but not sister come on seriously <laughs> seriously not sister but of course um a friend we stick together mm. and understanding is key which is very true i assume you're tall i'll let you answer that okay she's kevin hart height okay if you know kevin hart and you know his height why, why did you have to do why no, did you have to compare no, me with Kevin no, no, Hart? it's not a comparison it's a direct correlation of your heights he's exactly your how height. how tall is kevin Hart? how tall are you what what's your business <laughs> google it it's what's right a there. business how tall is kevin Hart? honestly he's five two are you serious yes is that short he is five two well i'm barely five two so he actually uh, had to undergo a lie detector test because he kept on lying about his height. Oh my goodness! And uh, he actually had to confess that he was five two. I was like, I used to be very insecure about my heights to the point that even my bathroom slippers used to be used to be heels. <laughs> like I used to wear wedge to to the bathroom. That's how insecure I used to be about my height. But ever since I met my husband, he's always like, Oh, I love the way you look. I love your height and stuff like that. So yeah, he, put, he I actually I actually have I'm very confident in my height now. So yeah. Mm. She comes in bite sized. <laughs> the first time we met, he was like, "You're so short." Like that, that was literally the first thing he said to me. Yes. And I was like fe feeling so insecure. And guess what? I was wearing high heels that day. Can you imagine? And he could tell that I was short. It was obvious. It was so painful. Because you were like this you're like my, i was already <laughs> insecure about my heart and that was the first thing you said to me and that was like i didn't even know if you liked me that much or not and that was the first thing you said to me and i was like <gasps> let's find somewhere to sit <laughs> <laughs> right yeah next someone said i thought you were from abuja can are there people from abuja like originally from abuja i don't know but i'm not from abuja he's not from abuja so yeah you could be born in abuja but not from abuja yeah and i was not born in abuja i didn't i didn't really i was never based there he was so um you're really nice baki that okay you're the best what 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 is baki that in, in english like you're not proud carry head you're not carry head <laughs> That's just the translation, yeah? Um, yeah, that's true, honestly. I'm the best. Everyone knows that I'm the best, so that's very true. You're not tall, even with heels, dog. <laughs> Leave me alone. What's your problem? Obvious. Hustlers. That we're hustlers. Are we hustlers? No, we're not. Really? Honestly, nah. I know I'm not a hustler. I know I'm not a hustler, but we'll get there. <laughs> but for now, nah, I'm not a hustler. I'm still hustling with my twins. Yes. I'm a hustler when it comes to that. We're, we're hustlers when it comes to the boys. But like the, the way people define hustle these days is like oh, crazy. Nah, nah, another nah. level. It's on another level. We're just maintaining for now. Um, you're fun to be with. Duh. Obviously. <laughs> Hello. Life of the party. Yeah, always. Um, you and your husband are one of the best couple I noticed after my parents. Duh. Aww. Duh. Yeah, Aww. we are. <laughs> <laughs> right. I think you're a very cool person. Quite energetic. No hard feelings though. Of course, no hard feelings. Like, that's a compliment. What are you talking about? No hard feelings. I'm quite energetic and I'm very cool. You know? <laughs> um, your best color is purple. Is it true? 
My best color is purple. Is yes. It is. Really? Well, yes. <laughs> well, is. that's true. That's of that's obvious. Like half purple cheers. That that's obvious. Um, someone said, um, rude and pompous. Is that true, babes? Rude and pompous. Is that true, babes? How? Daddy. How? I mean, you're literally the nicest person I know because when people just come up to her on the road or wherever, she's always like, hi, how are you? And they give a hug, even in this season and I think maybe what, the reason why the reason why they're saying that is because of the way I respond to people that are being rude to me online. Oh. Yeah, I think that's why they're saying that because honestly, if someone is being rude to me, I don't care. I just give you back the same energy. Well, those energy. people had it coming, obviously. Yeah, so I just give you the same energy you give to me and that's it. And maybe that's why you, you guys think I'm rude on purpose. But I don't know. I'm down to earth. I'm humble, pretty, you know, all that like stuff. Very friendly. Very, very Especially friendly. Especially in person. She's really, really friendly. Surprisingly. I'm just busting my brain in this video, like. <laughs> but it's the fact. Because some people, I'll just be like, okay, who's that? I'll be looking at them with a raised eyebrow, and she'll be like, hi, hello. <laughs> you know, hug the person. I'll be like, okay. Next. Okay, someone said, what am I supposed to do when I constantly feel down and wallow in self pity? What is she supposed to do? Hmm. Well, do you want to get that or should I? You should. I feel like she should be around people that she loves. Exactly. You should be around exactly. people that you love. You should try to do stuff that you like to do. Things she you enjoys. You should um, pray about it. You should pray about whatever is making you feel this way. First of all, you should try to figure out what exactly is making you feel this way because some people actually feel down without even knowing why so try to figure out why and yeah pray about it be around people that you love um what else try doing stuff that you love to do if it's that serious like serious serious maybe you should see um a specialist or something so. yes if it's something you can do on your own like you can avoid it or take it away from your life completely like remove yourself from that situation yeah even if you find it difficult to do it yeah. set your mind to it get yourself out of that position first then you start the healing process yeah because you can't heal if you're still in that situation exactly okay so someone asked what do you do when you're angry and your husband is also angry at the same time mm -hmm. this is a very good question because it happens mm -hmm. it actually happens <laughs> <laughs> quite a few times <laughs> so what i do what we do is we actually um give each other space yeah we give it we give each other space um he he gives me space more like he gives me space and then after i'm kind of calm and all of that then i apologize what <laughs> seriously I knew that. can you imagine i knew that you didn't tell me we came here to lie <laughs> <laughs> can you Im i never apologize Hardly ever. But I do sometimes. Well, yeah, if you're directly at fault, yes. But if we have a misunderstanding, usually she waits for me to come and meet her. Well, duh. Then I apologize. Then we talk. Well, <laughs> that's duh. Really how it goes. Yeah, well, that's how it's supposed to go. Says who? Where? Tell me categorically where it was said that I have to come first. Because you're the man. Mm. Mm. Yeah, but where did that statement or that rule come from? Because you're the one that messes up. Really? Sometimes. Really? Well. Really? I'm not. I'm, I don't. I don't. I, <laughs> I, I don't. I don't. I don't <laughs> work. Is it really your fault? No. Sometimes you're just maybe in a bad mood and uh, something just upsets you, and automatically you just have to wait for me to come and say, "Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry." for your mood sometimes that happens right okay yeah. now the question is what do we do when we're both angry at each other Fine. so he huge okay you i think you should answer this because okay <laughs> what actually happens is he he tries not to get angry but when he does he gives me space to be honest because we don't want to say hurtful things to each other we try 
as much as possible to avoid saying hurtful things to each other or talking to each other while angry, you know, or raising our voices, voices at, each, or being at disrespectful. each other or being disrespectful. So that is a no go area. So whenever we're both angry, we we try as much as possible to give each other space and then when I'm calm or when he's calm we try to talk things out and that's just it that's just basically it that's Basi a simple basically, answer basically yeah yeah that's a simple answer the short version yeah, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I'll take that mm -hmm. how do you get to how do you get people to understand your emotions to connection yeah, well, true. I'm oh, sorry, true communication. Sorry, hey, God, English. Through communication. Yeah. So, how do you get people to understand your emotions? Well, you just have to talk as clearly and as calmly as you can. Yeah. You know, pick your words, pick the best words to express your your emotion or how you feel at that time. Let them know exactly what you you mean to say and how you feel at the time in your words. That's just it. I mean, there's no other way. Unless, of course, you're on the phone or face to face, then they can see how you how feel. You feel. Yeah. yeah, for me, I'm just like, I say it as it is. So, um, I just tell people exactly how I feel straight up without coating or sugar coating or, or concealing or, you know, I just say how it is. This is how I feel. This is what I feel. At this moment this is what you made me feel or this is how you know i just say it as it is and that's just how i have always been so yeah communication sometimes to be honest i don't really pick my words as he said that's the right thing to do you should choose your words carefully but i really don't in situations like that when i'm emotional I just say it as it is so that's for me but pick your words <laughs> listen to him right um, please pray for me while I already not here. So what should I do? Pray? You just said someone sh should pray for you. Pray for yourself as well. Pray about it. That's yeah. that's it. Pray about it. Um, keep an open mind as well. Keep an open mind. Yeah. <laughs> that's basically <laughs> that's it. When it's time, it'll be time. That's just it. You can't rush it, because if you do rush it and you end up with the wrong person, then that's really a bad situation. So calm down, just open your mind, pray about it, and you know, when it's the right time, the right person will come, inshallah. Yeah. So someone said that I look like a snob. Okay. But if you look like something, doesn't mean you are something. Like yeah, whatever. so. <laughs> I respect the person's opinion. You love being a stay home mom. I love being a stay home mom. So yeah, that's true. You stay that's home. an uh, assumption. Yeah. So that is very much true. I actually love being a stay-at-home mom. I want to be with my kids two, four, seven, and yeah, I don't want to leave them. I don't want to have to go to work and leave them at home or, or something, unless if of course they stop schooling. But yeah, so I love it. I I I I love being a stay-at-home mom. <laughs> I can't emphasize that enough. If I could work from home, I'd do it as well. I mean, <laughs> he loves being a stay home dad as well. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a nice concept, isn't it? I mean, stay home in your own comfort zone, run things from home. It's excellent. Well, you are blunt and easily lovable. I'm blunt and easily blunt lovable. And easily lovable. Okay. Is blunt a bad word? Not necessarily. Okay. Yeah. You could be blunt about the truth. You could be blunt about, you know, what you feel. It's a good thing. Yeah, I think I'm blunt, but it's not always. It's not always good to be honest. Not always, but yeah, it but could I, be. yeah, it could be. It, it it's 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 good in the uh, in the sense that, like, you just say it as it is. Exactly. And you cleared your mind. And whoever is in that situation with you knows exactly what is in your mind so it's bad maybe because being blunt might hurt other people's feelings you know yeah so, so 
That's it. I think that that should be it. Oh, already. Well, the video is getting a bit long. <laughs> it's getting a bit long. So yeah, I think that that should be it. Thank you so much for being in my video. You're the best husband ever. Aww. And it's yeah, my pleasure. If you guys have any other questions or video request or whatever, you can comment down. Um, you can comment down <laughs> below. I, forgot, I, 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 I'm honestly forgetting how to do this whole YouTube thing, but it, you can comment down below. Um, so thank you guys for asking questions and as you mean things about me I can't ask answer all the questions because they are, they are a lot and some are repetitive and some of the questions are just rude um, <laughs> we don't want to get there As so um, yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video make sure you subscribe to my channel turn on the notification bell and like this video and thank you for being in my video my pleasure bye guys <laughs>